California-based artist Mark Horowitz has turned his lifelong love for TV, pranks, and fun into a prolific performance and video-making practice that reaches out to people in the most direct and bizarre ways. For the past several weeks, Mark has been ensconced in a makeshift studio in London's Hayward Gallery, shooting a Wayne's World meets Andy Kaufman mad TV venture called The Me and You Show. Artreview.com managed to catch up with Mark, who might be the nicest person in the art world, as he prepared for his latest show. Um, well, I, I, went to, I went to school, I went to business school, marketing, and I uh, got, a, got a degree in marketing and microeconomics. Okay. And, uh, and then sort of went into that field for a while yeah. and was scared to death. And I was studying under an ex-Special Forces Vietnam painter at a junior college who got me a scholarship to the San Francisco Art Institute okay. where I met uh, Harold Fletcher and John Rubin, mm -hmm. um, who I worked with closely, and actually Richard Wentworth. <laughs> and these people shaped my life. They totally changed my life. And I was like, I thought art was just painting, you know? Oh. And, uh, and then I realized it's so much more. And so what, for my first performance in art school, I went out and handed out blank sheets of paper at the corner of Market and Powell in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. People were like, make me an airplane. And then <laughs> some people would say, write my mom a letter. And then they wouldn't have an address, but that's OK, because they can do that. And then homeless people would say, write me a sign that I can hold up. And you know, so it was kind of heartfelt. And then people would come up and shake my hands and I was doing God's work. And then tourists thought I was a crazy person, so they wanted their picture with me. And so this is all over a blank sheet of paper, mind you. You don't have a wet dream? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. From that, I just thought, like, okay, well, I'm just going to take very simple things. Like, um, uh, errands was another one I did. I ran errands with complete strangers. And then the dinner tour, where I went and traveled the country for a year having dinner with complete strangers because I put my name and number in a Crate and Barrel catalog, which was amazing. The Me and You Talk Show, I think, is just a place to daydream. That's what it is. And it's a show that incorporates everyday people, asks everyday questions, and sort of is just main focus is really just to have fun and just to make, uh, make art live, you know? Is it art? Is it entertainment? I don't know. You know, I think it's, it's, it's also a show that wants to ask those questions, it, that begs those questions out of people that come to a gallery like the Hayward Gallery. And I feel like this is a niche market that needs to be filled here. And, a niche uh, and market? What's a niche what market? market? What the hell? Niche market? Oh, what the hell's a schedule? What the hell's a schedule? What's a, niche no, what's a schedule? It's schedule, people. It's schedule. I'm coming to a point in my, in my work, in my, in, my, in my career, where I'm trying to figure out, honestly, what is the difference between art and entertainment. I'm just trying to find like a nice, happy medium where it can be humorous and fun and engaging um, but yet very sincere and community oriented and, and, and really taking an account that we are all here together as an audience or a group and we are all honestly at the end of the day just people talking. I don't like the elitist thing. I almost feel like most museums are like these castles on top of these hills and they're just like big fists like we're so awesome look at us and it shouldn't be like that anymore. This will work. Uh, <laughs> the it, 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 it best will work. Okay. Okay, I'll just laugh and then, uh, yeah. Okay, and I say, okay, and then after that, I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm Mark Horst, this is me and you show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Chris. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, Chris, 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 Chris. And looking at all of your press, right. the, the one question that is consistently asked is, is this art? Well, you know what, I, I think it was John Cage that actually asked this question. What? Yeah. Okay. All right, hi. I think it was John Cage that asked this question, and I think it was him, but don't quote me on this. Okay. But didn't he ask the question, uh, please go out and find me an example of noise and an example of music. Mm. I think it was him. Uh -huh. But, you know, and I also, I also think that, you know, there was a quote by Donald Judd and he said, if, if uh, the only requirement of art is that it be interesting. And I, I know they're very vague things, but I think, you know, first you take the John Cage quote uh -huh. and you go, go out on there and, and find me a piece of art and find me a piece of entertainment. I mean, because a painting could easily fall under entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, you could say a Rothko is as entertaining as, as a, an episode of Family Guy. You know?
Yeah. Anyone? We have such a huge audience tonight. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God.